Pilipinas coach Yang Yao has already filled up the first six slots in his final 12 for next week's FIBA World Cup, leaving the rest of the pool in a competition to book the remaining tickets to the basketball showpiece in China. In an interview on Radio Cinco yesterday, Giao revealed that frontliners Andrei Blach, Jaypath Aguilar, and June Mar Fajardo, forward Troy Rosario, Gunnar R.R. Pogoi, and veteran Gabe Norwood have a lock on the final roster for the August 31 Sept 15 Worlds. Of course Blatch is there along with Jaypath, who's been playing well and is a key member of our frontline, and June Mar, we need his size but he also needs to make adjustments in terms of quickness, said Giao. We have Gabe, our team captain, Troy, we need his athletic ability and outside shooting and we're converting him to three spot here so we'll gain size in the wings, and R.R. Pogoi, our only remaining pure shooter with Martio, Lassiter, injured and Matthew, right, doubtful, due to injury also, he added. Giao takes one last look at the pool members' performance in the second game of Gila's tune-up series with visiting Adelaide 3-6 ERS tonight at Merleco Gym before naming the complete squad on Monday. Choosing the last six is the most difficult, the PHL mentor stressed. At this stage, Giao said the main concerns are the minor injuries Wright and Poirum recently sustained that forced them to sit out Friday night's first friendly against the 3-6 ERS and the need to speed up the reintegration of Fajardo, Pogoi and Rosario after their three-week absence. Their injuries are not serious but it's a little bit concerning because this is the time we need to see them play, Giao said of Aram and Wright after Gila's 92-83 win over Adelaide. As for the trio, their long absence from training was felt in the second quarter, where Gila seemed out of sync and sputtered after posting a nine-point lead early on. We can see they're still feeling their way back in and their teammates are also adjusting with them around. That's something we have to fix in the next few days. It's what hurt us in the second quarter, said Giao. Blatch dished out a near triple double of 19 18 9, turning the assist man in the fourth and setting up Pogoe for the long bombs that fueled a telling 10 0 run. The 3 6 ERS gave us a really good game. I felt that it was exactly what we needed playing rugged, physical, and bigger guys. And their bigs are quick and can run the floor. That's an aspect that gives us problem, our bigs like June Mar and Dre are not that quick so we got to find a way to keep up with the quick bigs, said Giao. This game gave us a glimpse of what we'll face, in the World Cup against Italy, Serbia, and Angola, and it's going to give us time to make some adjustments, he noted. Meanwhile, guard Kiefer Ravina is expected to plunge into action tonight for the first time as his 18-month suspension by the FIBA already lapsed yesterday. Kiefer kept himself in really good shape and he worked really hard. He's mentally strong, he has high basketball IQ so I think he will get his game back. I have high confidence he can do that, at first there's a few adjustments, transitions but once he gets going, but I think he'll be okay, said Giao.